Good evening, everyone. This week's parsha has a seventy-four mitzvahs. Lo sa'ase and I say contained within it. It and Parshas Kedoshim are the uh, Parshas that have the most numerous mitzvahs of the Torah recorded within a Parsha. One of the mitzvahs that is mentioned that really uh, to a certain extent is not relevant to us is Izor Lacha Benega Tzoraz. Be careful how you treat the uh, plague of Tsaras. So the Gemara says that that's a law in the Torah, that you, you are not allowed to treat it. You have to go to the Kohen, and the Kohen has to diagnose it, and the Kohen is the one that will tell you what to do with the Muzgor, Muchlat, etc. But you should not treat it. You shouldn't uh, uh, surgically remove it. You shouldn't, uh, shouldn't do anything. That's the law. The next posuk is Zohar Zasher Oso Hashem Miriam. Remember what happened to Miriam in the Midbar? That she was afflicted with Saras. And the Jewish people waited for her to seven days till she was healed. And uh, this is one of the Sheish Zechirot, one of the six items that a Jew is supposed to remember every day. So, like Zohar, Shabbos, the Khan show, we have a second Zohar. In the parsha of Zohar Zashir Osol Amalek, remember Amalek, remember Yisias Mitzrayim, remember Matan Torah. These are things that should be constant with us. So, what is there to remember about Miriam? I understand to remember Shabbos, because that's one of the pillars of Jewish behavior. I understand to remember Amalek because that explains the national situation in all generations. I remember Yitzhak Mitzrayim because that's the basis. Everything is Zechel Yitzhak Mitzrayim. But what is there to remember Miriam? Miriam, the great prophetess, the sister of Moshe and Aaron, was afflicted with Saras, and the Jewish people waited for her. So why should we remember that more than remember, remember the story of the Miraglin? Or remember the story of the ego? So the Mephorshim all say, because that's the juxtaposition of the uh, two psukim. First, the Torah told you to be careful about Saras. Now the Torah gives you an example. <clears throat> Another mitzvah, but what first was a lo saseh, and now there's a mitzvah saseh. You remember what happened to Miriam when she had Saras. This is based on the, whatever, the fact that the opinion of the Talmud is that Saraz comes from evil speech, from Lashonara. And therefore, uh, 
the Ramban says that uh, from here we see that the Avera of Loshon Ara is of such significance that even the great and pious woman who herself saved the Jewish people and saved her brother, nevertheless, the Torah says, look what happened to her because she and Aaron spoke Loshon Ara against Moshe. So uh, if we examine the case, what was the Lashon Orod he said about Moshe? The only thing they said is uh, we don't understand why he gave up his family life and separated himself from his wife. He's a Navi. So we're also Navi. And we were never told that we had to separate ourselves. And the Medjish says that uh, uh, Miriam overheard that Sipora, the wife of Moshe, complained about. It. And uh, Elda Misnabi Mamachane, and they said, We're going to be like Moshe. So she said, I feel sorry for their wives. So where's the Lushan Ara here? They said a they said a fact. It's like a question. So the Khafiz Chaim in his uh Khafiz Chaim wrote a Shulchan or Khan Lushan Ara. Number of Sforim. So there are two volumes of the Sefer Chofetz Chaim itself. But then he wrote another book called Shmir Saloshim. About the guard against Loshim Arad. In the Shmir Saloshim, he discusses this at length. What was their sin? What way had she should be punished publicly. She gets harassed. And the whole Jewish people have to wait. And then they say, well, come, we're not moving. Oh, Miriam's got harassed. So he goes through a long list of possibilities. But he has an interesting conclusion, which is for tzaddikim, but it applies to ordinary people such as me also. He said that the, her sin was in our own, that they were not Malamid schus on motion. They didn't look, they didn't say, why should Moshe behave so differently than us? They didn't examine it. And they didn't say, well, maybe he was told to do so. Maybe he's a Novi in a different level of the Vua than we are. Maybe he has to maintain a different level of Tahara than we do. So the Chavzraim says that the Avera was because they were not Malamitsus. One of the hardest things he says for people to do is to be Malamit Schus. If you're Malamit Schus, the newspapers have to go out of business, which would be a good idea anyway. You can't listen to the news. And yet the Torah wants us to be Malamit Schus to somehow justify others to say there must be a reason. And the Chofz Chaim says, if we're Malam B'tzchus on others, then in heaven, they're Malam B'tzchus on us. But if we, uh, we are not able ever to find compassion and excuse for others, 
So the Derek showed him road said, Leila Khmalik, you know what's up? Do we have time yet? Yeah? Okay. There's a wonderful Gomorrah, famous Gomorrah. The Gomorrah is about Rabbi Akiva. The Rabbi Akiva is not mentioned. It, the Gomorrah says anonymously. There was a worker that he worked in this in the negative. And he worked for a uh, for a landowner. So the Gemara says for three years. And they had made up a price. When the three years expired, so the worker came to the boss and he said, the, the three years are up, you pay me my wages. So the owner said to him, Ainley, I'm broke, I don't have anything. So the worker said to him, well, if you don't have cash, give me a piece of the fields. He said, I don't have any fields. He said, well, if you don't have cash, you don't have fields. And maybe you have payrolls. You have produce, food. that ain't we don't have. So the worker left for three years. And he had nothing from it. A year later, Gamor says, the owner, the boss, shows up at the worker's house and he brings with him three donkeys that are laden with all the treasures of the world. And he said, the worker sees him and he invites him in and they have uh, you know a cup of coffee together and uh, they, they're friends and he says i'm leaving these three donkeys laden with all of this treasure and that's for the three years that you worked he says but before i do that i want to ask you when i told you that i didn't have what did you think then? What did you say? What did you say to yourself then? You worked three years. We had an agreement you should get paid. And the day comes that you should get paid. And I told you that I don't have. So what did you think of me then? So the worker said to him, well, you didn't have cash. I thought that a great mitzvah of Pidyum Shvuyim came up that day and you had to give all of your money for the mitzvah of Pidyum Shvuyim. So you didn't have cash. So he said, and what about a piece of the field? He says, well, I thought that maybe uh, the tax man came and since there was no cash, they took all your fields away. You didn't have any. And he said, and what about the payers? He said, I thought that all of them turned rotten. You didn't have any. So the man said, Kachoya. you're right. Those are the exact three things that happened to me. And within a year, the Rabboni Shalom blessed me that I was able to restore all my wealth. And I'm here to pay you. <laughs> and Ashrecha Shekocha Din Dantoni. You should be, you're fortunate that that's what you thought of me. That you were done the Kafskus. 
So the Ramban says here that this story, we have a story that Rabbi Akiva married the daughter of Kalba Savua. Kalba Savua is uh, the wealthiest, most influential oligarch that the Jewish people have. Rabbi Akiva can't read olive days. Rachel, what, 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 how could she do something so foolish? But the Ramban says this story with Rabbi Akiva became a foursome by Claudius. It became well known that there was a person that was able to be done with cops who's into the extreme. So she said to herself, a person that has within himself the ability to be done his fellow person, even when on the surface it looks like he's doing something wrong, that's the type of person that I want to spend my life with. And that's why she married him. So that is part of Zohar, Esasher Osa Hashem L'chon, Esasher Osa Hashem L'miriam. Remember Miriam. Her, there's no sin here. There's just the absence of being able to be down with cops. And from great people like Miriam and Aaron, the Rabboni Shalom demands. In fact, that's a hallmark of greatness in our society to be able to be able somehow to be done others lakapskus, and in that merit, we will also be judged lakapskus. Abechananya ben Akashi Omer Rotsa Kodesh Borchu Lazakos Es Yisrael Lefich Achivu Lahem Toro and Mitzvos Shenemar. I don't know if I'm going to man sit kali adio tarami. Thank you.